All right. Thank you so much, Fred and Jessica. This is really exciting to be part of. And um, I'm delighted today to talk about INE's new energy goal. So um, that energy goal, if I can, we're stating as this, Minnesota can be a model for a carbon neutral economy that benefits people and the environment. And I believe, as Jessica talked about as well, that climate change is the greatest challenge of our generation and of future generations. And we know that it's urgent to find, test, and demonstrate solutions. And we also know that models that we can create locally and test locally can be significant regionally, nationally, and globally as models. And the University of Minnesota is uniquely positioned to contribute to this work, to offer its incredible brain power to this big grand challenge. And I also think that Minnesota is a perfect living laboratory for this work. So why is that? First of all, we have a great research university. That goes without saying. Um, but a couple other specific things about Minnesota. Minnesota has great renewable energy resources. And right now, we're already producing 25% or more of our electricity from renewable resources. Minnesota actually doesn't have any fossil fuels of our own. And we spend billions of dollars every year importing them. Minnesota, we have a robust and very diversified economy, so we have a strength to build upon. And Minnesota has bipartisan greenhouse gas reduction goals in law that call for a 30% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions across the economy by 2025, which is right around the corner, just at the tail end of this goal period. And our goals also in state law call for an 80% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. So we're a great living laboratory for some of the good things that we've been doing here, but also because we have a heck of a lot of work to do because we are nowhere near meeting those statewide goals, especially in areas of transportation, industry, buildings, and agriculture. So this is where all of us come in. And this is why we're doing this here today. Um, we have an opportunity for our work to be aligned and to work together in some ways to make a real impact. This grand challenge is going to take a combination of all kinds of disciplines, science, technology, law, policy, health, design, um, social behavior, and all of our partners like companies in re renewable energy and NGOs and, and policymakers and community members and others around the state and, and the country. So at i &E, we're committed to these goals. We are in this for the long haul, but we're certainly in this specific process for three to five years, which is enough time to see some real progress, I hope. Um, you can count on us to focus on it in the coming years, and that's what we're announcing today. We invite you to join us. We want to harness your expertise and experience towards meeting this goal. We want to work with you, and we will work to support you in that, in whatever way you want to participate. We will amplify your work. We will work to catalyze research and project teams. We will convene and connect key people. And we will educate for shared understanding. And guess what? We're going to get started this afternoon. <laughs> so I hope you can stay for our workshop. Fred already described the questions we're going to ask, but I'm going to end with that, that this afternoon we're going to really dig in and start brainstorming, as my strategic planning team has been doing for the last year, um, what work is most important to focus on, and where can the University of Minnesota, working with others, make a real and measurable difference in the coming three to five years. We want to work with you. Thank you so much for being here.